just doesn't want to be Queen Bey. It's no secret almost everyone has great admiration for Beyonce, including the Kardashians. If you scroll through their Instagrams, you can't help but say, that looks familiar. You can definitely tell they took inspiration from Queen Bee. They say imitation is the greatest form of flattery, but are the Car Jenners taking it too far? They put so much work into really getting looks for every single family member. Kylie's Marine Sayre bodysuit. All of us have gotten fashion inspo from Beyonce, but fans said Kylie is just straight up copying. In Beyonce's Instagram post, she was posing in a dark blue and red Marine Sayre bodysuit with a sleek belt, an oversized black coat, retro sunglasses, and pumps. Then Kylie's outfit was basically the same except her bodysuit was beige and black. People were also comparing Kylie's pose, saying, everyone wants to be Beyonce. The only difference is Kylie Jenner has enough money to actually do it. This one has too many little details to be a coincidence. People will pinpoint every single thing about you. Chloe's all pink look. When Khloe Kardashian became a brand partner with Ipsy, she found herself being criticized on social media after several promotional photos from her new partnership with the beauty subscription service surfaced online. In the photos, she's seen rocking an all-pink ensemble, along with chestnut-colored hair. The brunette locks with the pink clothes make her look just like Beyonce. Fans compared her appearance in the pink-themed shoot to that of Queen Bey's in her 2005 Check On It music video. The red background doesn't help with the comparisons. One Twitter user joked how Check On It was a moment with Chloe's picture as a screenshot of the music video. What can we say? She fits right in. Kim's black dress. At the 2018 Met Gala, Kim Kardashian looked stunning in a gold chainmail Versace dress, but her second dress people didn't love. For her after-party look, Kim opted for a black Versace number with a caged corset and buckled straps, leading to the neckline. She paired the look with see-through heels and a sleek black ponytail. However, fans of the star have been quick to notice that Kim's dress is identical to that worn by Queen Bey in 2011 for a photo shoot with Complex magazine. The Shade Room posted side-by-side -side comparisons, calling it an ultimate showdown. Who do you think won? Kylie's Green Leopard Jumpsuit when Kylie Jenner posted a photo of herself sporting dirty blonde hair and posing in a green leopard print jumpsuit on Insta, fans quickly accused her of copying Beyonce's look. They asked if she was cosplaying Beyonce. Kylie's pictures drew comparisons to a stage outfit Beyonce wore to V Festival seven years ago. Fans noticed that Kylie's hand on hip pose, down perfectly, was eerily similar to Beyonce's pose in an Instagram photo. Coincidence or not? Kylie's leopard suit. The green leopard look isn't the first leopard fans have accused Kylie of copying from Beyonce. When posing in leopard print from head to toe for her new Kylie Cosmetics leopard collection, fans thought it looked very similar to Beyonce's previous looks. Some felt certain looks were very akin to Beyonce's in videos for songs such as Kitty Cat from her 2006 album B-Day and Partition from her 2013 self-titled album. While Beyonce does not own leopard print, fans feel it's the combination of Kylie's makeup with the leopard cat suit that's too uncanny. Chloe's Gold Gown Chloe went big for Diana Ross's 75th birthday party. She went for big curly locks, a glamorous gold gown, gold hoops, and gold shoes. Paired with bold makeup, Chloe's look is very familiar. That's because Beyonce wore a similar look before. The big hair and the accessories are the same. Just like Beyonce's dress, Chloe's dress has long sleeves, a plunging neckline, and a high slit. Kim's gown. Fans swore Kim channeled Beyonce at the 2015 Met Gala. She wore a sheer Roberto Cavalli dress, which featured crystal embroidery and a long fur train. Other than the color, the gown looks very similar in shape to Beyonce's Met Gala gown in 2012. At that time, she wore a sheer black Givenchy gown with crystal embroidery and a purple fur train. She styled her hair in a sleek ponytail. Kim also tied her hair in a sleek ponytail. However, Kim said her outfit was inspired by Cher. She posted on Instagram a photo of Cher's first Met Gala look along with the caption, Tonight's inspiration, Cher at the first ever Met Gala. I just met her and told her this photo was my inspiration for my dress tonight. She is so beautiful, so happy I met her. What do you think, inspired by Cher or Queen Bee? Single ladies. 
She posted the snaps of herself in outfits that would not look out of place in Beyonce's wardrobe. The first image, which Kim labeled split personalities, shows her dressed in all black and seemed to be inspired by the single ladies video. Coincidentally, Kim, Chloe, and Courtney really paid homage to Beyonce's single ladies as they recreated the iconic music video. At the time, Courtney was pregnant, but nevertheless stunning. Kylie's Met Dress it seems the Kar Jenner sisters have a thing for using Beyonce's Met Gala dresses as inspiration for their own Met Gala dresses. Remember that mind-blowing naked dress they graced us with at the Met in 2015? Kylie stepped out at the 2017 Met Gala's rocking an Atelier Versace gown that has a very similar vibe. You can't help but wonder, did Beyonce inspire Kylie? Considering the likeness between the two creations, and not to mention that both Kylie and Beyonce had platinum blonde hair, the question is valid. Kim's Retro Photo Shoot Kim Kardashian's 60s retro-themed photo shoot with Interview had people confused if it was her or Beyonce. Kim and her daughter, Northwest, who also got her own feature in the magazine, look incredible in their retro gear, inspired by Jackie Kennedy. But the photos had people doing a double take. Fans asked, doesn't she look just like Beyonce? The resemblance is a little spooky. It probably has something to do with the way Kim's makeup was done. In the past, Beyonce has done 1960s-themed photo shoots and videos. She also starred in the movie Dream Girls, where she wore wigs similar to Kardashians. Kim's White Outfit When Kim posted her theatrical white outfit on her social media, she received mixed reactions. While some fans loved it, others were commenting on how she was copying Beyonce. The hat, the fringe, and the head tilt. Kim was dressed head-to-toe in Moogler, which overlapped with Beyonce's tour stage outfit, which was custom-made by Moogler. Kendall Stylist While her sisters get inspired by Beyonce in more obvious ways, Kendall keeps it low-key. She once said in an interview she wants to be Beyonce's personal assistant. Why? So she can know what Beyonce eats and do the same for herself. The next step to that, naturally, is to hire Beyonce's stylist. Kendall Jenner's style started revamping when she hired Beyonce's stylist, Marnie Senafonte. While Kendall hasn't worn the exact clothes Beyonce has, the stylist did put her in some Beyonce-like dresses. Like this one, with the plunging neckline and the high split. Parental Advisory Alexander Wang's parental advisory top was a big hit. Beyonce wore hers to a trip to the Dominican Republic on her wedding anniversary. Soon after, not one, but two Kar Jenner sisters were spotted with the shirt. Kylie wore hers with a long blue coat and black pants. Chloe opted for white pants. Chloe's poses. Like the rest of us, Chloe definitely uses Beyonce's Instagram as inspiration. And on her own Insta, Chloe Kardashian paid homage to Beyonce. She posted a collage of snaps in which she poses up against a wall just like Queen Bey did. Copying Queen Bey, Chloe raised her arms above her head and showed off her curves. With her back turned to the camera, Chloe wrote on Beyonce's post, I just got my motivation for the year. Holy moly, yes, I see you, shut it down. Lemonade. Beyonce's lemonade was a cultural moment. Just like the rest of us, Kim Kardashian thought so too. So she has to pay homage in her own way. One of Bay's defining looks of the era is her braids and fur. You automatically think of lemonade when you see it. Of course, Kim had to do her own version. To help promote Pat McGrath's skin fetish, 003, Kim channeled her best lemonade Beyonce with braids and fur. Even the lighting and feel is similar. The fashion icon Paris Hilton is a huge inspiration for the Kardashian and Jenner family. This fashion-loving family takes inspiration from all kinds of designs, eras, models, and even other A-list celebs. From Kim and Courtney to Kylie and Kendall, these sisters all take notes from the 2000s icon who coined the phrase, that's hot. Hi. I'm Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton's looks keep getting copied by the Car Jenners, and we're here for it. Bring on the low rise jeans and Ugg boots. That's hot. Glitter Swarovski mini dress. In the early 2000s, Paris Hilton was the ultimate it girl. She single handedly made party looks a thing and showed us that mini skirts and butterfly clips were needed in every girl's closet. One of her most famous looks was a glittery Swarovski crystal dress worn for her 21st birthday. Paris paired the sparkly mini dress with a choker and dark smoky eye makeup indicative of her bold style. In a tribute to the Gen X icon, millennial model Kendall Jenner wore an exact replica of the dress to her own 21st birthday 
party. Kim also showed her love for the chainmail-like outfit in an Instagram post wearing a very similar dress. Of course, the Carr Jenner sisters are never afraid to say that Paris did it first. Tracksuits. Let's talk about the Juicy Couture tracksuit. Juicy Couture tracksuits are so ingrained into fashion history that it's easy to forget who was the actual forefather of velour. Yep, it's Paris. Always wear ones that are colorful, or else you'll look like you're actually going to the gym. Ew. In the early 2000s, Paris's friend sent her juicy tracksuits to wear and promote for the new woman-run brand. She fell in love with the comfortable and stylish suits. As soon as I put on my first juicy tracksuit, I was obsessed. Soon, every celebrity was wearing them, including up-and-coming fashion icon Kim Kardashian. Kim is still a fan of the velour look, and recently rocked it in a throwback-themed shoot with Paris for Skims. Now, younger stars like Kendall and Kylie are bringing back the tracksuit style. Safe to say, this comfy two-piece outfit is here to stay. Bra and corset tops. How many people can get away with wearing a bra as a top? Paris's signature look has always been confidence, and she rocked the bra top look long before the Kardashians dared to bear it all. I mean, what else goes better with low rise miniskirts than a barely there bra top? Kendall Jenner expertly executed the look at the Cannes Film Festival in 2017, and Kim often rocks the bra top and corset tops on and off the red carpets. Playboy costumes. For Halloween in 2019, Kylie stunned fans when she wore a Playboy-themed costume complete with bunny ears. Did you know that Paris did it first? Back in 2014, Paris donned a similar costume to celebrate comedian Seth MacFarlane's birthday at a club party attended by all the A-listers of the year. Recently, she reminded us that she's the queen of the bunny costume again, with a post to Instagram archiving her best Playboy pinup looks trucker hats. I'm here to tell you why the early 2000s were the hottest years in fashion history. A big part of the iconic 2000s look for young club goers was rocking a Von Dutch trucker hat. Even those of us who couldn't spring for the pricey designer mesh ball cap had a closet full of lookalikes. I love trucker hats. The trucker hat look is making a comeback in 2021 with top model Kendall bringing us Von Dutch vibes. Pink party vibes. One of Paris Hilton's signature looks is all over hot pink. Apparently, Paris's Barbie style is timeless since we're seeing similar looks on the Car Jenners lately. Trade millennium pink for millennial pink. From bright pink bodycon dresses to cut out soft pink hues, Kim has emulated the rose colored fits on more than one occasion. Chloe was also a fan of the pink looks, especially with her pink corset top by House of CB and jeans worn on Keeping Up with the Kardashians season 17. Leopard Slip Dress During her days in the spotlight, leopard print was Paris Hilton's go-to pattern. A few years later, Kendall Jenner wore leopard print paired with biker boots and dark shades. How off-duty model is she? Kim K also rocked minimal print over the years, with one of her best looks being a 2019 head-to-toe leopard bodysuit by Azadine Alaya, jacket and boots. And who can forget Courtney's leopard throwback pic proving that animal print was and always will be a classic. Mini skirts with heels. Skirts should be the size of a belt. A good mini skirt never goes out of style, but Paris took low-cut skirts to another level by pairing them with sky-high heels. I don't know if I'd wear this ever again. The Kardashians copied Paris's mini skirt and heels look on multiple occasions. Kendall wears mini skirts all the time and is fully bringing the millennium trend into the 2020s. Life short. Take risks. Graphic tees. T-shirts are the best way to tell the world your most profound thoughts. Graphic tees have come in and out of style for a few decades, with stars like Paris, Lindsay Lohan, and Britney Spears making it cool to show off sassy sayings through T-shirts. Paris tells us what's on her mind via her shirt. Kourtney Kardashian recently started wearing graphic tees and band tees to go with her new rocker girlfriend vibe. Whether it's cheeky sayings from 2003 or political messages in 2021, you can't go wrong with a graphic tee and and a hint of irony. Oversized bags. When Kim was still hanging out with Paris before solidifying her own career, the besties would hop around town with their massive tote bags. Many Fendi's are cool, but these gals loved their oversized shoulder bags. When Kanye West helped Kim clean out her closet on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, we saw just how attached Kim was to her big bags a la Paris. Ugg boots. Paris Hilton would never be caught leaving her house in Ugg boots nowadays, but back in her simple life, 
days, the heiress was a fan of the comfy winter footwear. The style was to wear the chunky boots with miniskirts, shorts, jeans, anything. Sorry to tell you, but Uggs are officially back. Kim, Kendall, and Kylie wore the cozy boots while out and about. Chunky belts. Paris Hilton was the queen of chunky belts. Who says belts are for practical use only? Paris made chunky, patent leather belts cool, and the Kardashians ran with the trend in the 2000s and 2010s. Kim, in particular, was a fan of the chunky belt and rocked many a look involving sweaters, jeans, leggings, and yes, a completely unnecessary belt. Hairstyles. Paris has always had a platinum blonde hairstyle complete with a daily blowout that probably costs more than the average salary. When Kim and her sister started making it big in the industry, they copied Paris' daily beauty routine and opted for big, blown-out do's. Kim even had a brief blonde moment for a shoot where it seemed like she was finally going fully Parisian. Rhinestone chokers There's no such thing as too many rhinestones. Paris is a big believer in blinged out accessories and rocked the rhinestone choker look well into the 2020s. Kim is also a fan of bedazzled neckwear, and while she often opts for real diamonds, she's also been known to rock the rhinestone look in choker form. Much like her former bestie, Kim loves bling. Low rise jeans. Jeans definitely look better lower. While high-waisted jeans may have been all over the 90s and 2010s, fashion is coming full circle, with the millennium low-rise look made famous by Paris coming back in style. The Kardashians stay on top of trends, and so we won't be surprised if we see these fashionistas rocking the low-cut look sooner than later. Yes are good, they make your butt look really cute. Kim recently wore some low-rise comfies at home, and Kylie does low-cut jeans on her gram feed from time to time. We especially love Kendall's cool girl take on the low-rise style. And if you're not having fun, then just leave. And please put your hands together for GQ Woman of the Year, Zendaya. We may as well dub her the red carpet queen of fashion, because literally every celeb is taking lessons from Zendaya's style. Holy cow, she's the real deal. Nice. The Euphoria star shines in everything she wears, so it's no wonder that so many other singers, actors, and TV stars are rocking the same outfits as Zendaya. I mean, who's not obsessed with Zendaya? No, I love I know her. you she's are. Storm Reid. Although she only plays her little sister on Euphoria, Storm Reid is basically Zendaya's mini-me in real life. Their twinning status was taken to the next level when Storm wore the exact same outfit as the Dune actress. Did they chat about this outfit beforehand? Reid, who plays Zendaya's TV character's little sister Gia Bennett on HBO's Euphoria, and Zendaya rocked an identical Tommy Hilfiger suit only months apart. Zendaya wore the black-and-white three-piece patterned look during Paris Fashion Week. Later, Storm wore the exact same pants, turtleneck top, and blazer to the opening of the Tyler Perry Studios event in Atlanta. In true sisterly fashion, both actresses paired the suit with hoop earrings and pink eyeshadow. Michael B. Jordan Everyone in Hollywood wants to be as fashionable as Zendaya. Even the Black Panther star couldn't help but twin with the stylish actress. Michael B. Jordan was twinning with Zendaya when she wore the exact same gray suit as him. Zendaya rocked the look at a Harper's Bazaar event during Fashion Week just a few months after he'd sported the suit to the Vanity Fair Oscars party in February. The Spider-Man star paired the suit with simple accessories and an undone hairstyle. Fans quickly pointed out the twinning moment, which prompted a whole Who Wore It Better debate. Why y'all trying to start drama over here? Of course, Jordan was quick to answer to the debate, commenting that Zendaya won the contest hands down. Tom Holland after starring in three Spider-Man franchise installments together, Zendaya and Tom Holland revealed that their relationship had developed into more than just friends and colleagues. These lovebirds were so close that they even started dressing the same. Zendaya and Tom have rocked similar outfits on more than one occasion, like this plaid pants and denim jacket look they wore only weeks apart. Zendaya wore high-waisted plaid pants paired with a white t-shirt and denim jacket, while her co-star wore almost the exact same look for a Marvel event in 2019. The pair also twinned in these teal green and purple suits. Gigi Hadid it's no surprise that these two fashion icons are often caught wearing similar styles, brands, and looks. Like Storm Reid, Gigi Hadid also rocked Zendaya's Tommy Hilfiger three-piece suit look. The top model, however, put her own spin on the outfit by ditching the top layer jacket and adding a wide-brim hat, pointed stilettos, and dangling earrings. Both of them looked stunning in the patterned suit. Zendaya and Gigi twinned yet again when Zendaya wore the same blue and green color block dress by Louis Vuitton. This flattering outfit was actually super popular 
popular with celebs. Selena Gomez also wore it, but she added some chunky boots for a completely different feel. Timothy Chalamet for the red carpet premiere of Greta Gerwig's Little Women in Paris, the actor who played Laurie in the film wore a bright, eye-catching fuchsia suit. But fans did a double-take when they recalled Chalamet's Dune co-star wearing a similar look not long before. Like, are all these A-listers shopping each other's closets? Timothy's Stella McCartney suit was so similar to the Christian Siriano pre-fall 2016 collection suit that Zendaya wore in 2016 to the Humane Society of the United States to the Rescue Gala. Zendaya paired her look with Giuseppe Zanotti design slingback metallic sandals and a diamond Rolex watch, while Chalamet wore black boots and a statement link chain designed by Vita Fede. Gwyneth Paltrow Besides both appearing in Spider-Man, these actresses also have something else in common. Both wore the same pink corset top. Zendaya stunned at the 2020 Critics' Choice Awards wearing a Tom Ford asymmetrical molded top, which she paired with an ankle-length Tom Ford skirt and long braids. The look was created by celeb stylist Law Roach, and that armor-styled top is sold for a pricey $15,000. Paltrow previously rocked the same top when she appeared on the cover of Harper's Bazaar. The older actress was excited about twinning with Zendaya and commented on a photo of the outfit, writing, Thank God I can say I have something in common with Zendaya. One of a kind. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. It's custom. Harry Styles. As another stylish person in the entertainment industry, the former One Direction star is often pushing the boundaries of fashion. Harry and Zendaya have been seen twinning on multiple occasions. Fans were quick to compare his purple and gold suit to a gown worn by the Euphoria actress. Zendaya's dress was by Ralph and Russo Couture, which she paired with a wet-look hairstyle. They've also rocked similar monochromatic suits. Jacob Elordi Despite not having many scenes together in the show, Zendaya and her co-star, Jacob Elordi, who plays the tormented character of Nate Jacobs, have obviously become pals in real life. Although the pair initially sparked dating rumors, that was quickly put to bed when it was discovered that Zendaya was dating her Spider-Man co-star Tom Holland and Elordi was dating Olivia Jade. That didn't stop them from twinning in similar outfits, though. Zendaya and Jacob were seen wearing matching casual attire right down to the socks. The co-stars went out in jeans, black tops, camera bags, and blue hats. So cute! Elordi only has good things to say about Zendaya, commenting to GQ Australia about their relationship, saying, Zendaya is an amazing creative, you know? She's super dope to work with. She's an incredible artist and a very caring person to all of us. Blackpink's Rosé for her very first appearance on the Met Gala red carpet in 2021, Blackpink singer Rosé wore an adorable little black dress designed by Yves Saint Laurent. The theme of the gala that year was In America, a lexicon of fashion, and the Korean performer went for a classic Hollywood look, paired with statement jewelry including a statement choker and icy blonde locks. Zendaya was seen wearing the same YSL dress when she posed for the cover of British Vogue in October of 2021. Zendaya's glamorous look, which included Bulgari rings, was styled for the cover by none other than La Roche. Both of these stars looked totally elegant and chic in the classic dress, and each of them totally made it their own. There we go, guys. That's the outfit. Kim Kardashian Many celebs have tried to emulate the wet look, which includes a hairstyle that appears as if the wearer just stepped out of the ocean. Kim Kardashian was a forerunner with the style when she paired it with a bespoke Thierry Mugler dress for the Met Gala in 2019. And stars like Zendaya have also rocked the wet look since then. The actress emulated the style at the Venice premiere of Dune, in a custom, nude-toned Balma gown that was perfectly fitted for her shape. Emily Ratajkowski when it comes to these two talented stars wearing the same wide-legged jumpsuit, it's almost impossible to decide who wore it better. I mean, how gorgeous are they? Both ladies rocked the Solace London wrap-over-top wide-leg culotte jumpsuit with perfection. Emily wore the look for a photo call in New York City for the film We Are Friends, pairing it with wavy locks and open-toed sandals. Zendaya wore the jumpsuit with open-toed stilettos, simple jewelry, and her hair pulled back in a high bun. Hailey Bieber over the last couple of years, the bearing-it-all sheer dress trend has become all the rage for many celebs. Top fashion icons like Hailey Bieber are usually the first on the new trends, and the model rocked a gorgeous sheer top with cutouts and a short hemline. The star wore the look to a wedding and shared on Instagram. Zendaya was also seen wearing a similar sheer cutout dress by Nancy Dojaka when she was spotted on a night out on the town in London. Coming from the Chiltern Firehouse after a premiere of Dune, the designer shared images to their Instagram writing that the heart-detailed dress was custom for the star. I think we can all agree that both ladies can definitely pull off the sheer cutout look. Hunter Schaefer 
We love seeing Zendaya twinning and matching with Tom Holland, but it's even better when her co-star and real-life friend Hunter Schaefer is also involved. Hunter, Zendaya, and Tom all attended a hockey game together, and we're feeling some major jealousy about this group of pals. Seriously, how can we get an invite to hang with this gang? Hunter wore a hockey jersey with her name and the number 98 on the back, while Tom and Zendaya rocked jerseys with each other's names and the number 96. How cute is that? Cher it's not only other celebs who are keen on matching with Zendaya and taking inspiration from her looks. The star herself has also admitted to being inspired by other female performers from the industry and throughout history. On multiple occasions, we've seen Zendaya wearing outfits inspired by other singers, actors, and stars. A major fashion history moment took place when Zendaya wore a gown inspired by one of her icons, Cher. Zendaya's Oscars look was a reference to Cher's famous yellow wrap dress. Styled by La Roche, the Valentine no gown with cut-out details was paired with around $6 million worth of Bulgari jewelry. Sheesh! Did Zendaya do the classic look justice? Beyonce Zendaya showed once again how she's inspired by other women in the industry when she paid tribute to a classic Beyonce moment. For the BET Awards in 2021, Zendaya went into the archives and wore this Versace dress once worn by Queen Bee on stage at the same award show 18 years ago. Beyonce's version had a mini dress skirt style, while Zendaya wore it long with flowy panels. The rich purple and green fabric looked incredible on both stars. When she shared the look to Instagram, Zendaya wrote, "Paying homage to the queen." Can you say iconic? Beyonce? Like, I'm gonna have to go with everything. As one of the biggest and most stylish pop stars in the world, Ariana Grande's style is uniquely her. That's why it's so hard to copy her and not get caught. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke. Uh, so <laughs> Addison Rae. The TikToker served her fans a stunning look from Versace after attending their shows in Europe this year. Addison is in an all-pink Versace outfit, donning the iconic high stiletto heels of the brand. The all-pink, princess bubblegum-esque Versace has been criticized for copying an outfit by Ariana Grande. Ariana wore a similar outfit consisting of a Versace dress in the color yellow, which was paired with yellow sheer tights and stiletto heels. The position singer donned the outfit for a skit she performed on the Late Late Show with James Corden. She also posted pictures of herself in the Versace look in June this year on her Instagram. While the look is eerily similar to Addison's pink one, from the silhouette of the two dresses to the pairing of it with sheer tights and stiletto heels. When Addison posted pictures from her look on Twitter, fans pointed out Ariana's look and accused Addison of copying the singer's style. To them, it's literally the same outfit but in pink. It's like trying to copy but doing it on the DL. What do you think? Yeah, okay. You know, like, okay, I'm sure she did. Halsey. During her Hopeless Foundation Kingdom tour, Halsey has been accused of copying one of her tour looks from fellow artist Ariana Grande. After pictures of Halsey stepping on stage wearing a pair of white pants, matching bralette, and duster coat, fans have taken to Twitter to blast Halsey for wearing a look that's nearly identical to one worn by Ariana on her Dangerous Woman tour. While looking at the singer's outfits side by side, they are quite similar. But that doesn't automatically mean that Halsey intentionally stole Ariana's look. In fact, Halsey tweeted out a response to all the haters on social media, writing, Love Ari, didn't know about this, but it's cool to me. My encore look varies, but I thought this was a cool Badlands throwback. All love. Halsey has been rocking the same look, though without the matching coat, since her Badlands tour. And she looks great, but so does Ariana Grande. Khloe Kardashian she often switches up her style and posts it on Instagram. While fans love when she's trying something new, sometimes Chloe's new looks don't look so new. Many fans have commented that Chloe takes inspiration from Ariana Grande more than once. The Kardashian posted on Instagram a picture where she was wearing a pair of black latex pants and a corset top with her hair styled in two 90s-esque pigtails, which looks uncannily similar to the style Grande has been fond of too. Since then, Chloe has tried other styles but eventually got compared to Ariana again. Chloe posted on Snapchat with a high ponytail in shades similar to Ariana's hair and using one of the singer's favorite selfie poses. Pouting. Of course, Chloe immediately got comments asking if she's trying to copy Ariana Grande, while others were praising the look. Courtney Kardashian While her sisters tried to be more subtle with their inspiration, Courtney was not. In true Courtney fashion, she literally dressed up as Ariana Grande for one Halloween, and she even went trick or treating in the outfit. One of the best celebrity Halloween costumes of 2018 was her dressing as an Ariana Grande doppelganger. 
She donned a high ponytail, pink mini dress, thigh high boots, and a microphone to achieve status as Ariana's long lost twin. She really did her homework, as the dress she wore was almost an exact copy of what Ari wore during an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Now that's dedication. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so funny. Billie Eilish. When Billie Eilish announced the release of her sophomore project, Happier Than Ever, she shared its cover design on social media. Fans immediately noticed the album's artwork, aesthetically speaking, is the complete opposite of her first record's artwork, and the reason for that is she might have taken inspiration from Ariana Grande. Some are saying the artwork resembles Ariana's 2018 Sweetener cover art, especially the neutral color palette. As a fan of Ari, Billie may have just been inspired by her. Um, can I just say that I think Ariana deserves this? <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Ariana Grande has gone through many eras in her music and style. She started off with lots of pink and the cutest sweetheart dresses, and she also had a cat ears phase. But one of her most memorable style eras was Focus. Instead of her brunette locks, Ariana switched for a platinum blonde tied in her signature ponytail. The look is very uniquely Ariana. That's why fans were quick to point out Kim Kardashian when her promotional photo shoot seemed to have been inspired by Ariana's focus era. In images promoting her Kimoji Hearts fragrances, Kim can be seen with her platinum locks pulled into a high ponytail while wearing a white outfit. The combination of all those things paints a near-identical picture to a shoot Ariana Grande did in 2015 for the cover of her hit single Focus. Some fans even noticed how the makeup was similar as well, giving them a major case of deja vu. I, I said it. it first. You did, you did. Kylie Jenner. Every year, Kylie Jenner's birthday party is filled with days-long celebrations. For her 23rd birthday, Kylie started the celebration four days in advance. With a last-minute surprise early birthday dinner, there was a rose-topped birthday cake covered in Kylie skin pink frosting and some sweet moments. For her outfit, she borrowed a look from Ariana Grande, essentially replicating the outfit Ari wore for her birthday party in June of that year. Both wore nearly identical knit bras as tops for their celebrations. This was not the only time Kylie got some inspiration from the singer. Earlier that year, Ariana Grande fans were calling Kylie out for posting pictures of herself in Ariana's signature sleek high ponytail. In these now deleted pictures, with her hair pulled back, Kylie has more resemblance to Ari than we thought. It like gives me goosebumps every time we, I like, it's so crazy. Camila Cabello. For the 2018 MTV EMAs in Spain, Cabello broadcasted via tweet that she had attempted Grande's signature hairstyle for the first time. She was in so much pain that she swore to never wear the hairstyle again. She even joked about her pained face during the high ponytail and her smiling face after she took it off. Ultimately, Camilla decided to consult with the high ponytail queen herself, Ariana Grande, to get some perspective. I just did a high ponytail for the first time and it's literally pulling on my brain. It's so painful. How do you do it at Ariana Grande? She wrote. Ari joked back about her not having nerves, but ultimately how the hairstyle just hurts. After rocking the style for many years, Ari's just used to the pain. Camilla is not so much. And when she took down her ponytail, it's most likely her last time copying Ariana. Like always worn it in a ponytail. Jennifer Lopez. JLo has been in the industry for decades, so by now she's tried every hairstyle out there. For the 2020 People's Choice Awards, she posted a picture to Instagram stories of her very high ponytail, which tumbled down from the top of her head in glossy ringlets. The look seemed familiar, and then we noticed the song JLo was playing for the reveal to be Ariana Grande's Positions. For the night, Jennifer Lopez channeled Ariana's signature hairstyle. This was not the first time JLo tried out Ari's signature hair. She also did it back in 2014. Madison Beer For years, Madison Beer has gotten comments about her copying Ariana Grande from her aesthetics to her singing. Some went as far as calling her an Ariana Grande wannabe. But I'll take it. I'll take the compliment. Thank you for mistaking me. Throughout the years, Madison was unable to shake off the comparisons, and some haters are just waiting for something to use as fuel on Madison. So when Beer posted a photo of herself to Instagram sporting a cute half-up, half-down high ponytail, she subsequently faced a number of Ariana Grande fans, implying that she was copying Ariana. One person went as far as making a parody of Ariana's positions, but with Madison's situations. In an Instagram Live, when asked about fans describing her as an Ariana Grande wannabe, Madison responded asking people not to pit them against each other. She's one of my idols. After decades, Beyonce is still the blueprint. Zendaya's Crazy in Love tribute. Zendaya once told E! Online, This Beyonce, you know, that's like a, all you can do is pay 
pray, pay tribute. She's and that she did. Longtime Beyonce fan Zendaya paid homage to her idol at the 2021 BET Awards, wearing an archival Versace look. The purple dress pays homage to the dress Beyonce wore to the 2003 BET Awards performing Crazy in Love. While Bay's version was a mini dress with a pleated, ultra-high hem, Zendaya's had a flowy, maxi-length skirt with a daring leg slit. Both versions boast a rich purple hue, lime green accents, and daring cutouts around the torso. Z's longtime stylist, Law Roach, dug into the archives from Versace's spring-summer 2003 collection. He showed off the outfit on Instagram, writing, paying homage to Queen Beyonce wearing Versace SS2003. Get you a stylist with an archive. While Beyonce didn't comment on the moment, her mother, Tina Knowles, wrote on Z's Instagram post, love you in this vintage Versace dress. Beyonce wore one just like it on her first solo performance on the BET Awards. She is obviously the queen. Madison Beer's homage for the 2021 MTV VMAs, Madison Beer drew inspiration from Beyonce. The barely over 20 singer wore an almost 20-year-old dress from Dolce & Gabbana's Spring 2003 collection. This exact dress was previously worn by Beyonce to a taping of The David Letterman Show in 2003. The extremely rare designer piece, recently sold for $5,995, is composed of panels of rose pink silk and leather, with corset detailing throughout. While Beyonce chose to style her dress, laced up to just above the knee, Madison left hers unlaced to the hip with a pair of metallic-heeled sandals. But both stars paired the look with loose waves and a soft pink lip. While neither singer commented about it, fans were both pleased and displeased. Some said Madison couldn't live up to the original, while others praised her, saying, "...it takes a certain je ne sais quoi to wear the same dress as Beyoncé and look just as good as she did. Madison Beer is simply that girl." Adele celebrates Black as King Beyoncé took the world by storm when she released the visual album Black as King. In it, Beyoncé wore outfits by many black designers and went on to reimagine the story of the Lion King across the modern world. One of the outfits was a bodysuit by Maureen Sayre. To remind us that she is a fan of the singer, Adele celebrated Beyoncé's album on Instagram. Along with the picture from the video, Adele posed in the same Maureen Sayre print. She also debuted her very wavy, Beyoncé-like hair, smiling proudly as she posed with Queen Bey. Adele captioned her post, Thank you, Queen, for always making us feel so loved through your art. No, I've been a fan of Destiny's Child since I was like 11. Jennifer Lopez's AMA performance at the 2020 American Music Awards, Jennifer Lopez's performance with Maluma got fans talking on Twitter. But the discussion wasn't entirely about the performance. Rather, fans couldn't help but notice the similarities between J.Lo's sultry performance and a previous award show performance from Beyoncé. Jennifer Lopez joined Maluma to perform their songs Potty and Lonely, but it was her catsuit, hairstyle, and her overall vibe that gave fans a lot of visual flashbacks to Beyoncé's drunken love. When put side by side, you can definitely see the similarities. Taylor Swift's Pool Party Fans thought Taylor Swift's You Need to Calm Down had too many similarities to Beyoncé's party music video to be a coincidence. Both are set in trailer parks and feature a scene with the singer relaxing on a pool float, although their outfits were a bit different. Some people have also claimed that some of the shots throughout the video appear to be framed similarly. On Twitter, a user joked, Beyoncé had leftover props from her party video. It's nice she's letting the girls use her things. Cardi B's Holy Look at the 2018 Met Gala, Cardi B wowed everyone with her look. However, some people online were calling her out for copying Beyoncé's 2017 Grammys performance ensemble. It also doesn't help that Cardi was pregnant, just as Queen Bey was when she wore her iconic gold beaded dress and matching crown. One fan joked about this year's theme, Heavenly Bodies, Fashion and the Catholic Imagination, saying, People are saying Cardi is channeling Bey's VMA look pregnant and all. Y'all, the theme is basically Beyoncé. Lizzo's Sasha Flute in an interview with Vogue, Lizzo revealed that her flute holds a special place in her home. She keeps it in a Swarovski crystal case. She has also given it a name. Lizzo calls her flute Sasha Flute, after Beyoncé's famous alter ego, Sasha Fierce. This flute might be the most famous flute in the world, with its own fan accounts boasting over 300,000 followers. Lizzo's latest instrument in her collection is a shiny blue flute named Blue Ivy, after Beyoncé's eldest daughter, Blue Ivy Carter. I have so I want you to try one that's not 
so expensive. Oh, we can get Blue Ivy. Now that's a true fan. Normani's motivational homage. When Normani dropped her debut solo single, Motivation, along with an accompanying music video, she gave us early 2000s nostalgia. It was packed with tributes to Beyonce. Early in the clip, Normani struts down the street in a cropped white tank top and low-rise denim, the same pairing Beyonce sported in her 2003 video for Crazy in Love. She channeled her inner Beyonce for a rain-soaked scene that sees Normani dancing in a metallic two-piece akin to Beyonce's baby boy. Cardi B's hat tribute. Fans also thought Cardi's look from Paris Fashion Week was inspired by Beyonce. The rapper stepped out in a Beyonce-esque ensemble with an overdramatic hat. That look was compared to Beyonce's black dress paired with a similar hat that she wore to the Grammys in 2018. Even though fans got riled up, Beyonce has no issue with Cardi B using her as fashion inspo. A source close to the singer told HollywoodLife.com, Beyonce is well aware that she is a trendsetter, and now that people are comparing Cardi's look to her, imitation is the sincere form of flattery. Beyonce thought Cardi looked great. Taylor Swift's Homecoming the music video wasn't the first time Taylor Swift's been accused of copying Beyonce. At the Billboard Music Awards, Taylor Swift kicked off the night with a performance of her single, Me, and fans online were quick to point out that it mirrored Queen Bey's Coachella performance. Taylor had a full marching band, similar colors, backup dancers, and more that led Twitter users to believe that she may have watched the Netflix documentary one too many times. Iggy Azalea's Sally Walker for her music video, Sally Walker, Iggy Azalea tried something new. However, fans were quick to point out that the overall vibe and aesthetics were too similar to Beyonce's formation. This was especially evident when Iggy was posing on top of a car. Fans said it was very Beyonce-esque. Selena Gomez's Stage Outfits Selena's performance outfits during her revival tour looked familiar to fans. People thought they were heavily inspired by Beyonce's The Formation World Tour stage outfits. Rita Ora's Formation Beyonce's formation was a cultural reset, so much that Rita Ora had to wear the same outfit as the one Beyonce wore. The red Gucci outfit was mimicked by Rita as she was hanging out with friends. Sierra's The Carters Sierra and her husband, Russell Wilson, were Beyonce and Jay-Z, as they recreated the Louvre photo shoot for an incredible couple's Halloween costume. In a video posted on Instagram, the resemblance was uncanny as Sierra lip-synced to the Carter's song, standing in front of a portrait of the Obamas. Mariah Carey's Gown Beyonce and Mariah Carey have a lot in common. They're both queens, gorgeous, and powerhouse singers. And sometimes they also share the same taste in fashion. The lovely ladies were seen rocking the same black, form-fitting Roberto Cavalli gown. Beyonce wore it first at an event in New York City. She paired the outfit with a pair of platform stilettos and loose, wavy curls, achieving an overall glamorous look. Mariah wore hers later with a daring slit down the middle. Ariana Grande's Stage Outfits Ari's stylists may be looking at Beyonce's stage outfits for inspiration. Not only once, but three times Ariana has worn outfits akin to ones Beyonce wore before. First up is this red cutout leotard, then this leotard with padded hips, also this embellished outfit with the tiny skirt. Ari's stylists need to find inspiration elsewhere. I'm too shy for this. <laughs> Kesha's sheer dress. Kesha looked very glamorous when she attended the Life Ball in Austria. She hit the red carpet in a white, sheer lace dress with long sleeves and a floor-length cut. Her look was also very familiar. The white lace dress makes us immediately think of a very similar look that Beyonce had already worn to the Grammys. On the 2014 Grammy Awards red carpet, Beyonce wore a white lace Michael Costello gown that showed just enough skin. Kylie's Marine Sayre bodysuit while most of us have gotten fashion inspo from Beyonce, some claim Kylie Jenner straight up wants to be Beyonce. Fans accused Kylie of copying a whole look off of Bay's Instagram. In Beyonce's post, she was posing in a dark blue and red Marine Sayre bodysuit with a sleek belt, an oversized black coat, retro sunglasses, and pumps. Then, if you look at Kylie's outfit also posted on Instagram, it was basically the same, except her bodysuit was beige and black. People were also comparing Kylie's pose, saying, Everyone wants to be Beyonce. The only difference is Kylie Jenner has enough money to actually do it. This one has too many little details to be a coincidence. Khloe Kardashian in pink 
Flowey's all-pink look garnered attention for its similarity to Beyonce's Check On It music video. When Khloe Kardashian became a brand partner with Ipsy, she found herself being criticized on social media after several promotional photos from her new partnership with the beauty subscription service surfaced online. In the photos, she is seen rocking an all-pink ensemble along with chestnut-colored hair. The brunette locks with the pink clothes made her look just like Beyonce. Fans compared her appearance in the pink-themed shoot to that of Queen Bey's in her 2005 Check On It music video. The red background doesn't help with the comparisons. Kim Kardashian Fans swore Kim channeled Beyonce at the 2015 Met Gala. She wore a sheer Roberto Cavalli dress which featured crystal embroidery and a long fur train. Other than the color, the gown looks very similar in shape to Beyonce's Met Gala gown from 2012. However, Kim said her outfit was inspired by Cher. She posted on Instagram a photo of Cher's first Met Gala look, along with the caption, Tonight's inspiration, Cher at the first ever Met Gala. I just met her and told her this photo was my inspiration for my dress tonight. She is so beautiful, so happy I met her. What do you think? Inspired by Cher or Queen Bee? A piece of me did die inside as a, as a Beyonce stan, I'm not gonna lie. From the top, make it drop, there's some copycats in this house. Pop icon Cardi B has a lot of influence in the celebrity world, from her music to her style, so it's not surprising when we see some of our fave celebs clearly copying Cardi. I like to do everything. I like, I like my face to be everywhere. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm here! Khloe Kardashian Khloe Kardashian took us to space with her sci-fi vibes in her blue bodysuit on Insta that she wore on a night out with her sisters. The gloved sleeves gave her an almost avatar look hugging her body head to toe and showing off her curves. The suit itself is apparently straight magic, as Cardi used this same suit to hide her baby bump in an Instagram video. With the viral, nobody's gonna know audio, Cardi showed us how. From head on, she didn't look pregnant at all until the suit was shown from a different angle. While Chloe wasn't using the suit to hide a baby bump, there's no denying the elaborate bodysuit fit has been brought back big time by Cardi influencing many other celebs along the way. Bella Hadid Bella Hadid already has a great style of her own, but that doesn't mean she won't hop on trends brought back by rapper Cardi B. The model rocked a vintage headscarf and sunglasses look, recently made popular again by Cardi on social media and out on the town. While obviously Cardi didn't invent this look, she's definitely brought it back on the scene in recent years, during her time at Paris Fashion Week and when she announced the Cardi B doll. In those promotional photos, Cardi wore a timeless Burberry fit, including a houndstooth check print hooded top, a houndstooth miniskirt, and a matching tartan pocket bag, coming in at just under 3 Gs before you buy the shoes to complete the look. Bella's take was equally timeless, pairing the combo with a blue quilted coat and swapping out cat eyes for alien shades. Kylie Jenner Reality TV star turned beauty mogul Kylie Jenner might just be Cardi B's biggest style fan since she can be seen duplicating her look time and time again. There's no doubt that she's incorporated some of Cardi's most popular styles into her wardrobe, including her workout aesthetic. On her Instagram, Kylie posted this pic of her in a matching lavender sports bra and leggings from Set Active. This gave us major deja vu, looking just like Cardi B's Reebok campaign where she wore a similar workout set. In the Reebok campaign, Cardi was launching her new 90s collection that includes some 90s-inspired tennis shoes in different colors, starting at about $120. Kylie's fit only costs about $100 if you want to jump on this look too. Kim Kardashian West Kim K is no stranger to the body-hugging outfits, showing off all her curves. So we weren't surprised when she posted to Insta a pic of her in a full bodysuit, with matching shoes and gloves that looked a little familiar. It was the color that really reminded us of Cardi, with various shades of purple being one of the main tones in Cardi's wardrobe. Paired with a headscarf and sunglasses, Kim gave us some major Cardi vibes in this shot, and we're not mad about it. Billie Eilish Cardi B is known for her fabulous and colorful wigs, so we aren't too shocked when she switches things up. But after Cardi B debuted her new blonde bombshell hairstyle, Billie Eilish majorly changed up her own style and seemed to follow Cardi B's lead giving us some major Marilyn Monroe vibes. Both of these artists rocked their new vintage look. While Cardi B's look didn't stick around as long as Billy's has, we love the influence and the way these two have brought back such an iconic cut and color. Cardi seemed to alter her clothing style to fit her new locks, opting for more tailored and classic pieces, 
whereas Billy stuck to her guns with her grunge aesthetic, showing us how to have fun with your own twist on a style. Doja Cat Doja Cat and Cardi B had the tiniest side of beef a couple of years ago when Doja was on Instagram Live, poking fun at Cardi's hit track, Press. Though Doja Cat tried to clarify she didn't mean anything by it, and the world seems to have moved on, Doja's fandom is clear by the way she seems to take style inspiration from the press rapper. Between her brightly colored hair and even some of her styled fits, like her hot pink album cover, where she's seen wearing gloves and bottoms of the same color, we see the Cardi B influence dripping from the star's style. Sierra Pop sensation Sierra quite literally copied Cardi B on Halloween, when she and her son Future dressed as the rapper and her husband Offset. Sierra recreated the Invasion of Privacy album cover, wearing a short neon yellow wig with a structured black and white jacket with an almost optical illusion style pattern. Future sported long braids, Ray-Ban sunglasses, an earring, and a more simple but stylish all-black look, including a denim jacket and t-shirt. Of course, in true Offset style, Future finished his look with a gold cross and chunky gold chain. After the album recreation, Sierra took some shots with her and Future, blowing all of our minds, including Cardi's. Cardi took to Insta to share her love of the costume, expressing her love for Sierra as well. Megan Thee Stallion After teaming up on one of the biggest songs of the pandemic, WAP singer Megan Thee Stallion seems to be influenced by Cardi B in some other ways as well. Notably, her beautiful red hair color, which looks so similar to Cardi B's hair in the same shade. These two cherry bombs both rock the look. Just before Valentine's Day in 2019, Cardi B showed off her fiery locks and left us all with some major hard eyes. So earlier this fall, when Megan copped the same look, we were absolutely sent. We are loving these two musical powerhouses and their style, and we're hoping they team up on something again very soon. Chloe Bailey Chloe Bailey has shot into stardom in the past few years with her sister Hallie in the duo Chloe and Hallie. She's been influenced by pop and jazz artists alike, but by style, we know at least one of her icons is none other than Cardi B. Both have been spotted in a Burberry dress in a classic Cardi B silhouette. On the Facebook Watch show, Cardi Tries, Cardi sported the $2,490 dress with gold hoops and tan and red pumps. Leaving us to ask, even if Chloe copped Cardi's look, who wore it better? Katy Perry On her way to a taping of Good Morning America, pop singer Katy Perry rocked what is now a classic Cardi color, lavender. Showing up to the soundstage to help present the weather on the morning news show, the firework singer was absolutely stunning in her bleach blonde hair and purple hues, showing us just how much Cardi's style has become a part of the fashion scene. Kim K, again. Okay, so maybe the true originator of the metal bikini has slightly nerdier roots. We're looking at you, Star Wars fans. But Cardi brought the look back and brought it back and brought it back hard at the 2021 Grammy Awards. During her live performance of WAP with Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi showed off her body and her moves with the now infamous bikini, paired with shoulder and knee pads and matching arm guards. Kim K followed suit, celebrating Halloween 2021 by dressing up as a cowbot or cowboy robot. In her costume, she channeled her inner Cardi by pairing her own metal bikini with metallic chaps and a reflective hat. We're saddled up and ready for more of these Cardi-influenced future fits. Chloe, again. Kim isn't the only one to copy Cardi B more than once. Little sister Chloe Kardashian seems to have taken style inspo from Cardi again with a beige corset top. In April, Cardi posted a photo on Instagram with a nude corset top and complimenting leather sleeves, pants, hat, and shoes, looking so luxurious and dripping in style. Chloe followed in September, toning down a similar nude corset with light denim jeans that give us the perfect end of summer vibes and showed off her slim waist. We love the way the Car Jenners have taken to Cardi's iconic style and we can't wait to see more. Over the years, styles come and go, so we look to our favorite artists and celebs for inspiration. Cardi B has set trends and influenced music since coming on the scene, and her style is no exception. Her bodysuits are legendary, and her accessorizing game is on point. The Princess of Wales decides to dress according to people's expectations, but Diana does it much better. It seems like we'll never stop talking about the late Princess Diana and about her incredible sense of style. That style hasn't gone anywhere over the years, thanks to countless celebs who keep it going by emulating some of Diana's most iconic looks. Diana knows looking good is an important part of the show. 
Meghan Markle. As daughter-in-law of the late Princess of Wales, it's no surprise that Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, would be influenced by Diana's style. From emulating her overall look to nearly copy and pasting entire outfits, over the years, we've seen Meghan refresh Diana's looks flawlessly. One look specifically comes to mind, where both Meghan is in a black suit with a red flower and a large hat at Remembrance Day, in an outfit that looks like it might have actually come straight from Diana's closet. Kate Middleton Another woman that we expect to see copying her late mother-in-law's style is Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge. As someone who's been a member of the royal family for a long time, we expect that she will walk, talk, and dress like a royal. But we didn't know that she would dress exactly like a certain royal. From her structured blazers, delicate dresses, and even color and pattern pairings, it looks like Kate Middleton's stylist might just have a Princess Diana mood board. Kim Kardashian West If you thought that the bike short trend was new in COVID, then think again. In the mid-90s, the People's Princess truly dressed like the people, in her casual clothes while out and about running errands. And one staple of those casual fits was the classic bike short. Time and again, Diana was photographed in a baggy sweatshirt, bike shorts, and dad tennis shoes with socks. That formula set as much of a trend then as it does now, with celebs like Kim Kardashian West rocking the same look and making us all want to go to the gym. Or at least, look like we do. Taylor Swift If there's anyone that knows wanting to get back at a man for hurting you, it's T-Swift. So we're reading between the lines on an outfit choice she made while promoting her re-release of the album Red, Taylor's version. To many people on the internet, Taylor's outfit gave major Princess Diana revenge dress vibes, possibly because she was subtly hinting at getting back at Scooter Braun. For those that don't know, Diana originally wore basically the same dress after Prince Charles publicly admitted to having an affair. If fashion looks could kill, these two women might just get away with it. Kendall Jenner Kendall Jenner is known for her beauty and sense of style, so there's no shock that she would copy the style of another icon, Princess Diana. In between dressing for events, these women also have to dress like, well, normal women. And in Diana's case, that was setting a trend none of us saw coming. Sweatpants and cowboy boots. That's not a duo we were used to at the time, so it's a clear copy of the late princess when Kendall Jenner steps out in the same look. Emily Ratajkowski Model Emily Ratajkowski is another one of those truly fabulous celebrities that seems to have a Princess Diana lookbook hiding in her closet. While Emily also knows how to rock the bicycle shorts look, it's really the blazer and jean combo we're drooling over. Spotted more than once in a beautiful structured blazer and some vintage style jeans, we're loving this fresh take on an iconic look. Hailey Bieber Justin Bieber's wife Hailey has become a style icon in her own right over the last few years. And all great style icons know how to copy and repurpose the best looks from the icons that came before them. So of course a Paris Vogue photo shoot in the style of Princess Diana made perfect sense. In 2019, Hailey rocked some of the most iconic looks Diana had, from bicycle shorts and blazers and just about every Diana fan absolutely swooned. Jennifer Aniston After getting engaged to Prince Charles in 1981, Lady Di wore a beautiful black David and Elizabeth Emmanuel gown with a petite waist, detailed bodice, and traditional princess silhouette. It wasn't until many years later when Jen Aniston rocked the same look at the Golden Globes. While Aniston's gown was designed by Dior, it gave us major modern-day princess vibes. All hail Rachel Green! Angelina Jolie Angelina Jolie is a major celebrity that's walked many red carpets in her day, but few red carpet looks were quite as glamorous as the one she sported in 2018. Wearing an all-black, off-shoulder Ralph and Russo gown with a sweetheart neckline, Jolie looked just like the late princess, who wore almost the exact same dress in 1985. Both women looked absolutely stunning, and this just goes to show how truly classic looks never go out of style. Gigi Hadid Supermodel Gigi Hadid sported a less popular but no less iconic princess dye look when she wore a black tracksuit with bright yellow accent blocks and white tennis shoes. Both women looked super stylish in their sporty outfits. Harry Styles You might be surprised to see a male celeb on this list, but Diana was known early on for some of her more gender-neutral styles. And who has a more keen eye than Harry Styles himself? Princess Diana seemed to have a love of a certain red jumper with a sheep print on it, as she was photographed in it multiple times in her younger years. Harry channeled Diana so well with a slightly altered take, a navy sweater vest version with almost the exact same sheep print. He looked dashing, and we're all calling our grannies to do some knitting for us now. Rihanna 
Pop star and fashion and beauty mogul Rihanna has a style all her own. Literally, you can buy her apparel with her name on it from Fenty. But there are some style similarities we can see between her and the late Princess of Wales. Especially in their ability to rock a little black dress and elegant dark gowns, their bright personalities shine through a darker aesthetic. Anne Hathaway One of America's honorary princesses, if you've seen The Princess Diaries, is none other than Anne Hathaway, who is an expert at channeling royal vibes. In 1996, The Princess of Wales wore a now iconic navy blue slip dress to the Met Gala, showing how sleek and stylish she was. Instead of copying her more traditional princess looks, which Anne Hathaway has definitely sported over the years, Anne opted instead for a copy of the navy slip dress that she wore to a movie premiere. Lady Gaga Lady Gaga has no doubt rocked a lot of different looks over the years, including the infamous meat dress she wore in her early fame. But one of her looks seems to have been inspired by Princess Diana and was a much more tame look at that. Taking from the late princess's love of black taffeta gowns, Lady Gaga rocked a black Valentino gown at the 2018 Governor Awards that reminded us deeply of the princess. From the off-the-shoulder cut to the dramatic yet not overdone circumference, we're in love with this classic style. Lily Reinhardt Silver lame is a delicate fabric usually used in bridesmaid's dresses or in decoration, but was beautifully rocked by Princess Diana at a James Bond movie premiere years ago. So when Lily Reinhardt showed up to the 2018 Met Gala in a silver lame gown designed by H&M, we were left completely shook. We loved the homage to Princess Diana, since few have sported this fabric quite so effortlessly. And honestly, we're still just drooling over this look. Priyanka Chopra Jonas at the Cannes Film Festival, Priyanka Chopra Jonas was trying to throw back to the historically iconic fashion moments from the festival's past. One of the looks that inspired her most, it seems, was Princess Diana's pale blue chiffon gown designed by Katherine Walker in 1987. Priyanka's look was similar in elegance, but with a slight twist. It was an all-white and included a corset-style bodice with a similar paneled skirt designed by Lebanon-based brand Hanida. Blake Lively while the metallic dress style is always popular around the holidays, few could wear it so gracefully as Princess Diana. So it seems natural that modern-day celebs, especially ones with excellent style, would incorporate the metallic look into their appearances as well. One stylish celeb is Blake Lively, a sort of princess to those that watch the original Gossip Girl, who has created a few metallic moments over the years. One was particularly princess-like, though, when she and hubby attended the White House state dinner and she wore a satin gown with a collar and long sleeves that reminded us of some of Diana's best shiny gowns, including a metallic dress by Bruce Oldfield to a fashion show in 1985. Elle Fanning Another celeb that seems to have been inspired by Princess Diana's Cam Film Festival look was Elle Fanning, who wore a similar gown to the 2017 Met Gala. Trading in Diana's flowing neck scarf for a headband and swapping out Diana's cinched waist for a more baby doll cut, Fanning looked practically angelic in her Mew Mew gown and actually looks like she might make the perfect princess. Gwyneth Paltrow Princess Diana loved an asymmetrical gown, and with her trim physique, she always looked stunning in her off-shoulder gowns. It seems like Gwyneth Paltrow took a page from Diana's playbook when she was getting ready for the Academy Awards in 2015, rocking a blush version of a very Diana-looking dress. With one shoulder showing and the other covered in a long sleeve and a flower, we couldn't help but thinking that the actress had to have been thinking of Diana's white version of almost the same dress that she was wearing in the early 1980s. Kristen Stewart Long before K. Stu was tapped to play the late royal in the 2021 movie Spencer, she had moments of channeling her style without even knowing it. One of the similar outfits is almost unreal, when Kristen Stewart was attending the San Sebastian Film Festival in 2019. Remind you of anyone? This looks just like Diana's iconic revenge dress, but with a perfect modern take. Swapping out the off-the-shoulder cut for an asymmetrical strapless look, Kristen opted for a sheer skirt that gave the same effect as Diana's sheer tights in 1989. If this is what Kristen looked like on her own, we are dying to see how well she rocks the Princess Diana costumes. It seems to be one way that modern celebs are set on keeping Diana's style with us, and we love to see her truly iconic looks aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I don't get it. Like, I literally don't look like this. If you've been keeping up with the Kardashians, specifically Kim, then you'll know things haven't exactly been going great when it comes to Kim and Kanye's divorce. We deserve Thanks. someone that can go support his every move. Yeah. yeah, like we said, not too great. And while they've both been seeing other people, fans have noticed that there's something 
eerily similar between Kim and Kanye's new girlfriend, Chaney Jones. I'm gonna put you in a car, no one will find you, okay. just leave. Where will they go next? Obviously, Chaney and Kim look pretty identical in a lot of photos. Don't worry, we'll get to that later. But let's also talk about how Kanye and Chaney were spotted having dinner together at Nobu Malibu in early February. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little dinner date. I've heard Nobu is great. He was like, hey, let's go to Nobu, and I was like, that's awesome. But it was only a few months ago that Kanye and Kim went there together. And we went to Nobu, and when I got there, I realized it was like a guy's dinner. Coincidence? Maybe. But when you start to put together the other similarities between Kim and Chaney, you start to get the idea that Kanye's taste may be a little… specific, to put it nicely. Kanye West's new girlfriend Chaney Jones is the spitting image of Kim Kardashian. Well, kinda. Chaney and Kim are clearly two very different people. But let me tell you, it's really hard to look at photos like these and think that there's absolutely nothing similar between the two of them. If we're going based off of just fashion choices alone, these two could be twins. But comparisons aside, can we just appreciate how stunning they both look? Excuse me while I promptly pick my jaw up off of the floor. BRB. Whatever makes you happy, you know? Not Kanye dating the same person in a different font. Of course, it's not just the outfits that do the talking, even though the outfits they wear really do say a lot. It's the accessories and the makeup and pretty much everything in between. Though we'll be honest, when it comes to beauty moguls and Instagram models or even YouTube influencers, you're bound to see quite a few people who, more or less, have this exact same style. She's gorgeous and actually went to school for something. She's an influencer and an Instagram model, but Chaney also graduated from the University of Delaware in 2020 after majoring in elementary education. The Sun even mentioned that she was on the Dean's List for three years in a row, and she's currently getting a master's. She's even the COO of First State Behavioral Health. Clearly, she's serious about her education, and it kind of reminds us of Kim, who decided to go to law school. I don't really have the energy for the eh. But also, like, okay girl, leave some knowledge for the rest of us. Surgery procedures on the face. Chaney Jones 0, Kim Kardashian 1,599. Here we go. Okay, so in a now deleted photo shared to IG, Chaney mentioned that while she's never had surgery on her face, she got a Brazilian butt lift and Twitter couldn't wait to compare her thicker figure to Kim's. Fans were quick to say that she got her BBL to look more like Kim. But this hasn't exactly been the case for Chaney, who opened up about already having a curvy figure before surgery. And I'm just putting this out there, are we really going to say that a woman of color is copying Kim for having naturally, and yes, surgically, ethnic features when Kim has been accused a ton of times for taking actions to get the same look? Everyone will see that my bet is real. We can talk about Kim and the Car jenner clan trying to be the blueprint for racial ambiguity, but that's a video for another time. Kanye West's new boo Chaney Jones wants people to know she is not a Kim Kardashian clone. As you can imagine, Kim has obviously heard about and seen countless photos of her ex and Chaney together. A source close to Kim told Hollywood Life, she thinks that Chaney should just be herself and not try to imitate her. Why are you so obsessed with me? We know this is coming from a source, not Kim herself. But did that sound like a subtle shade to you, or is it just me? As Ye's lawyer puts up roadblocks in his divorce, he's been spotted shopping in Miami with Chaney Jones. We're starting to sense a theme with Kanye here. Recently, he and Chaney went on a little shopping spree through Ball Harbor. Balenciaga, to be exact. It's only funny because just two months ago, he surprised Julia Fox with a ton of new clothes when they were dating. And, of course, we all remember the infamous Kardashian closet cleanout during the earlier seasons of their reality show. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Something living in my head rent-free RN is that Kim Kardashian's favorite color is beige. Okay, it's probably not, but that tweet is hilarious. Last year, Chaney shared her obsession with the color pink on TikTok. And while pink is a great color, fans can't help but notice that there's another famous celeb who seems to be wearing a lot of pink. Like, a ton of it. 
Who was that again? Hmm. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Oh, yeah, right. Kim Kardashian. Ye's new muse. Cheney's words, not ours. In a February IG post, she posted a very gorgeous and slightly Kim-esque photo of herself in the back of a car and captioned the photo, his muse. Funny enough, he felt the same way about Julia Fox when they dated. These similarities are more like Easter eggs at this point. Would you consider yourself Ye's muse? Yeah, a little, maybe. But sorry, that's not Kim Kardashian. From poses to aesthetic to the fact that for some reason, rich people love posing on private jets, Chaney and Kim are pretty much in sync. If I knew nothing about these two women, you couldn't possibly tell me that they had two different Instagram feeds. Not by a long shot. I don't know. Let's just clear one thing up. We know that Chaney is not Kim Kardashian. She's her own person. Kim's out there trying to live her best life, and Kanye is... Well, he's making his way through this whole divorce the best way that he can, and we'll just leave it at that. But the resemblance that Kim and Chaney both have, it's just uncanny. But we want to know what you think. What are your thoughts on this whole Kanye, Chaney, Kim situation? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more.